In the previous video, we learned how to pick specific elements from a vector using the which operator. In this one, we will learn how to convert one type of vector to another and an important caveat because many people tend to make that mistake. I will show what that caveat is shortly. So what I have with me here are three vectors, vec1, vec2 and vec3. And let me check the classes of these vectors. That would be an integer, vec2 should be a character and vec3 should be factor. Now I'm going to run through how to convert these to different types. First one was an integer, so let me try and convert it to a numeric. So vec4 should be a numeric, there should not be any problem with that. I can also put it as a character. and the content of vec5 should be all the numbers placed within quotes. Let me clear the screen. So far so good, but what happens if I try to mix multiple data types into the same vector? Say I have the number two and the alphabet D. I make a vec6, two can be converted to a character, but D cannot be converted to the number D, right? So the class of vec6 should be a character. Right. What happens if I try to mix two and a logical? Here the value true became one, right? And the class of vec7 obviously should be a numeric or an integer. Numeric. What happens if I used false? zero so what this tells us is when we mix a number and a character the precedence is given to a character and when we try to mix a number and a logical number logical item the precedence is given to a numeric item so the order of importance goes something like this character is more important than numeric and this is given more importance over logical all right let me clear the screen Now comes the caveat, that is the important part of this video. What happens when we try to convert a factor to a numeric? We have a vector 3, it is already a factor with 10 levels. If I want to convert it to a numeric, this should not be any problem because all the factors, all the values of the factors and the values of the corresponding levels in the factor are the same, right? So if I store this as another vector and check if vector 8 equals to vector 3 all of them should be true so no problem there but what happens suppose i have a factor like this my factors are random numbers let me pick 10 random numbers and it can vary from 10 to 70 now vec 9 will look somewhat different the values that were chosen for this vector and the corresponding levels are different, right? Now, let me try to convert this to numeric. This should be strange for you. Now, when inside vec9, the values were 9, 19, 57, 38, 50 and so on. But when I convert it to numeric, it is converted to 3, 9, 6 and so on. The 3 here actually refers to the level of this specific vector. So 19 is actually level 3. 9 is actually the 9th level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 57 is the 9th level here. So it put the corresponding levels as its corresponding numeric vector, right? So this we shouldn't do. This is a great mistake and it's not easily detectable also. So we have to be very careful. So to overcome this, what I should be doing is I should first convert it to a character. If I do this, the corresponding characters of the vectors will come up of this factor vector i mean right the 19 57 all these have been put inside quotes and this i have to put inside numeric now this should do fine right all of them are true but in case of vector 10 all of them are false
It's time for a mini challenge. What I would like you to try for this exercise is something similar to what I just did with converting factors to a numeric vector. So what you can try for this exercise is create a factor vector based on random numbers. That is you can create 10 random numbers and store it as factors in vector 9 just like how I have done here. After doing that, convert vector 9 to its corresponding numeric version. A successful conversion would imply that when you compare vector 9 and vector 11 like how I have shown here, all the elements in the result should point out as true. If you successfully complete this, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments area so that I know that you are following along fine. So good luck. Let's catch up in the next one.